What's up guys, it's Talia. Today is Sunday, June the 17th. Um, happy Father's Day to all the fathers all over the world. Um, especially the ones that actually do stuff for their kids. Um, but I'm pretty sure any of you guys watching, I'm sure y'all fall into that line, so y'all are good. Um, today I have a few whips to show you. Um, I have some new haul to show you. Um, which includes a couple of magazines, so I'll do quick flip throughs of those. My roommate it took his dad out for lunch for Father's Day, so I have a little bit of time. Not a whole lot of time, but a little bit of time, but he's been gone already for at least half an hour or so. Yeah. Um, God, what is this in my hair? I don't even know. Um, so, fun will be had by all, so let's get started. Um, the first whip, yes, this was already out because I've been working on it. Um, first whip, you will notice a huge difference in from the last time you saw this when I first started it in Mania. Um, and that is my black work heart. It's my black work heart. Um, this is a freebie from the Cross Stitching Guild Facebook page. Um, and I didn't even notice, but the design on top is different than the design on the bottom. Like, this top section right here, that's one, that's one pattern, and then the, the design down here is another pattern. I didn't even notice it until I started stitching it. Um, if you remember, um, when you saw this last... I, um, I had started this, I had started that green, like the flower right there in the middle, and I had actually started it with two strands of, um, dinky dye silks, but, um, I ended up taking that out and starting it with the one strand, and this is the one strand, obviously, as you can see, it's, it's fine. Anyway. So that's going to be my progress on that. Let's look, and this is a this is being done on the twenty five count even weave that it got dyed one color, and then I didn't like that color, so I bleached it out, and it turned into this beautiful pinkish color. Don't ask me how that happened. But I like working on this um, a couple of hours every day before work um, because it's easy to pull out and work on. And anyway, it's just it's e it's easier it's easy to um, to work on it and see progress. So for now. Roommate is messaging me, asking me if I want anything. Um, next. Um, I worked on the, on the color page here. The Walk Fast Sampler by Lindy Stitches. And last you saw this, I was still just working on this part of the, the leash right here. That's all I had gotten done. Was from about here to probably right about there. I did. I hadn't done a whole lot on it last time you saw it. And I did mention that was Lindy Stitches, right? Um, I got a little bit more done. Obviously, 
Um, I got um, the rest of the bottom of the leash. Hold on. One moment. Okay. I got the bottom of the leash. This is not working out how I wanted it to work out. I'm trying to like get it down to a more manageable size, but it doesn't want to cooperate. So we're just going to do it. We're just going to roll with it. Um, as you can see, I finished the bottom of the leash and it started working on the fish. So he's a pretty decent size. He's a big boy. And then, just for a change of pace, I did that little cat right there. And this is being done on Legacy by Picture This Plus. It's being done on a 16 count Legacy by Picture This Plus. Which, incidentally, if you like Picture This Plus fabric, I would definitely go check out Needlework, Needle Craft Corner because um, they're having an anniversary sale and they're having it all this month of June um, and until the last day of June they're taking orders for um, Picture This Plus fabric and they have some specialty threads in there uh, on sale and I believe the fabric is like 25% off it's the same the same discount the picture this plus had on their christmas and july sale that one day every year and they would get crazy amount of orders and which is one of the reasons they stopped having their christmas and july sale is because the orders just got so overwhelming um but needlecraft corner you can find them at needlecraft corner website um it's easier actually it's easier to find no it would be under anniversary sale um, if you go to Needlecraft Corner website, um, look under where it says Anniversary Sale, and it'll give you the price list of um, all of their their counts and their cuts. Um, unfortunately, the Fat 8 sizes are not eligible for the discount, but anything from a, from a, a Fat Quarter, a Fat Half, and um, a Whole Yard is all on sale. Um, five, the threads are like 30% off if you order um, like 30 skeins or more um, but definitely go check them out um, I've already got my order together um, and I'll probably be calling them sometime within the next couple weeks um, probably before the end of June and giving them my order and I'm ordering something like 15 pieces of fabric most of which are quarters um, and I'm ordering a mix of 16 count Ada and Lugana and linens give or take um, it's so hard to pin down exactly which ones that I want because I like them all um, next I worked on you can see this through the bag. I worked on the hands-on design. Uh, this is part of the Cool Bean series. I worked on the Cuppa Cuppa block. Um, last you saw this, I think I had gotten... Because I'm doing it all in one piece of fabric. And there is a, a complimentary a border that you can get on the hands-on design blog website whatever and I just actually put this away this morning because I just couldn't, couldn't. Um, and this is where I got so far on that obviously as you can see last time you saw this I was only working I think I had only done a couple of these border lines here and the beans in the middle um, as you can see I finished out that border that particular square border but it does continue on like 
there's some other lines that come out. Um, not this way, but this way. Um, and then I started on the teacups in the middle. So, don't ask me why I decided that I only wanted to finish one cup and not the other one. Don't know. Just didn't feel like doing it. Um, and that is the 16 Count Murmur by Picture This Plus. But kind of a peachy pink color. More peachy than pink, though. Um, yeah, I just... I couldn't sleep last night, like, at all. I had so much trouble getting to sleep. And even at this point, I don't think I've been asleep yet. I think I nodded off, barely, like a couple of hours, or like late this morning. It's it's already after 2 p.m., just to let you know. Um, why do I keep, why do I keep wanting to put them over there? Why? And finally, you hear beads. Um, I worked a tiny bit more on the Mirabilia Aphrodite Mermaid. And by I say a tiny bit, I mean a tiny bit. Um, I have to hold this whole thing up because... This is, I keep forgetting, this is called Grace's Ocean. This is from Fabric Flare. I still, I still love this fabric. This is amazing fabric. Um, this is a 32 count linen. Um, last you saw, I think, I, this was kind of cut off right here. I did finish the end of that, and I did some more down here. did this. So... My variabilities will come along very slowly for the time being. Oh, I see. Good thing I got some more of these things. This snap is like broken. That's all the lips that I worked on. Um, I've been working a lot at work. Like, we've worked pretty much every day for the past two weeks. Um, and we actually got off early yesterday. We were supposed to work eight hours yesterday, but we got off after only four. So, um, and then they had told us the day before already that we were going to be off um, today. So, I wanted to take today take this opportunity to do my video catch up with you guys and um, show you what I've been working on um now let me get into the haul there's quite a bit so stay with me here um we'll start with the basics I got the August issue of just cross stitch do a quick quick flip through of this Um, first we have partridge and pomegranates. This is kind of cute. Not the bag part, but it's kind of cute. Let's see that. Um, then we have the blue flowers sampler. Handsy pin cushion. Okay. Okay, cross stitch. There you go. Um, Summer Orchard. This is, I don't want to say black work, but it's a lot of like back stitch work. See that? Hmm. Um, exotic birds and flowers. This is kind of pretty. I'm trying to keep the glare down here. It's very hard to do when there's a window right there. It's funny, you wouldn't think magazine pages would have glare. Um, then we have Sunny Summer Garden. Um, 
This is actually by Carolyn Manning. Um, Strawberry Sewing Bag by N Nicoletta Ferruto, Nikki's Creations. Sometimes I forget that I like to tell y'all who designed them. Um, fairies, a Fairies Retreat by Lee, Lee Fisher of Stitchy Fish Designs. Um, mini bunnies, you have the July and August. This is a series that they've been doing. And Eileen Gurok of Hand Blessings Patterns. And I'm trying not to show y'all the pat the full patterns, but this is the rest of them that they that they've done so far. And then we have the Christmas ornament preview already. I'm gonna take a minute to look at these here. This is kind of pretty. It's kind of pretty. I don't know. I would kind of want to finish it as a round if I would do that one. Um, I kind of like this one too. And, but wait, there's more. So that's the Christmas ornament preview. And hold please while I flip through to the next one. Um, Margaret, Margaret Moffat 1896 sampler. Um, this was the original. This was the antique sampler that it's based off of, but this is the sampler that they've created. Margaret Moffat. Um, this next one, not this one, the one after that. Then we have Majestic Eagle and Flags for you patriotic Americana loving people. This, this one is probably my favorite in the whole issue. It just says, Happy Fourth of July. Look at that. It's gorgeous. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, July Quilt. Oh, that is by Natalia Luneva. And the one before that was by Mike Vickery. And this one, uh, July Quilt, is done by Jennifer Rodriguez. Jennifer Rodriguez of Always Time Stitch. And we have a cute little patriotic knitter by Cassandra Cal. Cavalca, Conforti. Let's try that again. Cassandra Calvaca Conforti, a fairy wool in the wood. Um, this one I have to be careful because the pattern is on the bottom part. And that would be it for that particular issue. So again, that is the August 2018 issue of Just Cross Stitch. Um, then I got also got in my um, July-August issue of Just of Cross Stitch Gold. This came to my mom's house and she was looking through it with me. Um, the first one we have here is um, summer holiday, I think, right? See, this particular magazine, 
they put a different name, a different title on the the article of the pattern. Um, this is actually called Cornish Harbor Scene. This magazine doesn't have uh, very many patterns in it in each issue. Um, then we have a uh, butterfly fairy, I think. We have butterfly fairy by Shannon Was Wasleaf. Kind of a nod to the Joan Elliotts. Not, yeah, the Joan Elliotts. Article, article. I think my mom liked this, but it's on black fabric. Um, we have just tiger. It's called Eye of the Tiger. This is a section. This is by Marilyn Barkhouse. It's a gorgeous. There we go. Gorgeous black fabric. I'm sure you could probably do it on another color fabric if you wanted to. A dark blue would be pretty too, like a navy blue. Um, creatures great and small, or, or otherwise known as Animal ABC. Um, Scarlet Poppies. Oh, no, by um, Leslie Tear, actually. Forgot to mention that, sorry. Um, this one is Eastern Delights. Let me see what the actual chart name is. Oriental Fan. And this one is by Doreen Jones. This is my favorite in the issue. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, another Doreen Jones called A Taste of Paradise. Something like that you really would kind of have to make it into a pillow. But I don't think it would really stand on its own, just in a, um, a frame. Um, and here's what's coming soon to Cross Stitch Gold. I really like that one. I'm looking forward to that one. And she's pretty too. She's gorgeous. Um, the Totally Tropical. These are just some tropical flowers. Good for cards. And I believe that's it. Uh, and that one was by Angela Poole. That's going to be it for that one. Again, that is the uh, issue number 67, I guess. July, August issue, which is of Cross Stitch Gold. So now I've got the boring stuff out of the way. Now for the fun stuff. Um, I got in some minders. Well, no, I'll do this. I'll do. I already mentioned it. I gotta, I gotta do it. Um, I got in an order of minders from Molly at the Everyday Stitcher. Or maybe, did I already share these? I don't know. If I did, oh well. If not, oh well. Um, I think I might have. I got the gold glittery Dalek, Mercury, Hello March. We got a Cyberman, Penguin with the balloon. That's a Doctor Who circle minder. And more circle minders. If I can pry them apart. And more circle minders. <laughs> I like that one. Grumpy Kitty. 
Grumpy Kitty and Aladdin. <laughs> and then one more card. Those are reminders. I got those in, so those will go on the board, which is still out my car. Um, then I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday. These are in, all this stuff is in no particular order. I'm just, it's here. I'm grabbing it. I had to set it up somewhere. Um, I am missing something. I have one more. There it is. Just a bag of mail. Um, went to Hobby Lobby. By this point, they've marked any of their older cross-stitch patterns. Uh, kits down to up to 90% off. Um, the smaller kits may not be 90% 90, 90 off, but um, I got this one. I don't even see a name. I mean, basically just a little XOXO heart marked down to $1.20, but it only started out at $2.99, so that's 60% off, I think. Then I got the Thea Governor. First of all, see that price? See that price? I don't know if you can see that price. Seven dollars. Thea Governor kit for seven dollars. This is called Just Joey. Then finally, they also had, well, finally, what I got at Hobby Lobby yesterday. Um, I also saw this needlepoint kit. They had this one and another one, but I like this one better. Um, this was originally $39.99, marked down to $3. I thought $3 is a good price to try out needlepoint. Because I've, I've been wanting to try it out for some time. Um... Even if it's not staying closed, it's everything's in there, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Um then I got this from eBay. Was it eBay, I think? Yeah. I got this from eBay before my last video, but I forgot to show it. I completely forgot all about it. Um, this is uh, Faith, Hope, and Love by The Work Basket. I fell in love with this when I saw it on 123Stitch um, a couple of years ago. Um, and then they eventually stopped carrying it, but that didn't change the fact that I still wanted it. So I found this on eBay. Um, Yes, that is a variegated floss, um, but I will probably be doing it in another color. Um, and then I think, we've almost come to the end of it, finally. Um, I got my, this is from May. So this would have been my May piece of Picture This Plus fabric from Needlecraft Corner. Oh, cool. See, I, you can tell I hadn't even opened this because I didn't even realize this was in here. I gave you one of those little keychain things that you can, you know, cross stitch something and put it in there. That's awesome. I just have to find something small enough to put in that. Because every every shipment they send you something, a little freebie or something. But anyway, um, this month's fabric is Oaken. Picture this plus Oaken. Um, probably not going to show up. I got, I get a full, I get a, um, a half yard of this every month. Um, it's not coming across as dark as it really is. But, yeah. It's a good, like, darker tone neutral. And again, if you don't remember, I get 40 count. Um, from Needlecraft Corner. This was a picture of this plus kind of like a membership fabric of the month type thing. You signed up for a year. 
Um, so really this is only good for a year. Um, and with this particular um, thing, if you stay for the whole, stay on for the whole year, you get a thirteenth piece of fabric, an additional thirteenth piece of fabric for free. So, and then the little um, freebie charts that they always send. Um, the one I saw in this particular grouping. Um, this one by, I guess it's by White Chilt. It's just, um, Paisley and Posies. That's really the only thing I, I found that I liked. This is going to take some figuring out. Oh, this one takes beads, too. Okay. It takes a pink bead and it takes a green bead. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. <clears throat> anyway. Um, as much stuff as I crammed into this particular episode, I'm surprised I'm only at 30 minutes. Um, so... Technically, my, my June start is supposed to be the Smith Sampler. Yeah. Um, technically, it's supposed to be the Smith Sampler, which is this. Um, I may or may not start it this month. I may or may not switch it out for one from another month. We'll see. But I have today off. And I have the hardest time figuring out what I wanted to work on today. I don't want to work on my blackwork heart, even though I know I could probably finish it. Um, but I, I like to save that for something to work on before work because it's just so simple. And I'm able to see, you know, a good progress on it. Um, because like I said, I've been working a lot lately and getting in those two or three hours of stitching in before work really... It's nice. Um, uh, and since I only have today off, um, we probably won't get another day off or knowing them another couple of weeks. We don't know. We don't know from weekend to weekend what we're going to be working that weekend. Um, but it's a busy time of year and supposedly we're supposed to be on seven days. Um, but like I said, it's my day off, my one day off. First day off I've had in like two weeks. <laughs> and I can't decide what I want to work on. Um, I think I'm going to work on the one that I was doing for my mom. That Heaven in a Wildflower by Rosewood Manor. I think I'm going to work on that because I need to. I'd like to finish that and give it to her before she's dead. Um... But yeah, I think I'm going to work on that. Like, my brain wants to work on so many different things. I may work on that one later. But I'm going to probably pull out my fractor. I don't know if you remember that one that I did on that really, really, really rich purple fabric that I got from Under the Sea Fabrics. Um, the one that was a pattern that was out of the old old um, cross-stitch and country crafts. It's a power outage. Yeah. Um, but anyway. Anyway, I guess that's going to be it for me. Um, I'm going to try to, I might work on that while it's daylight. Um, and then I might work on, pull up my mom's piece a little bit later on. Um, I'm going to start getting into a rotation because I'm getting so many projects at the moment that there's usually multiple patterns that I want to work out, work on at one time. And then I have so much trouble figuring out what to work on that in the end, I just, I can't decide. 
and I end up just completely blowing it off. So I'm going to get a rotation. Probably by next video, I'll get you, I'll give you something. I'll let you know what that might be. Um. So I guess that's going to be it for me. This video may or may not look a little different. I'm trying. I'm going to try out a new software. We'll see how that goes. Um, if it doesn't work out, then it's just going to look like a regular video. Um. So yeah. Um, I guess I shall return in July. Yeah. I guess I shall return in July. It's been nice having these last couple of, this last paycheck. I, this, this past really, really good paycheck. Because we're getting in like 50 something hours a week. Last week we got in 53 hours. This past week we got in 55. And that was leaving four hours early. So, um, I was able to make a car payment and my insurance payment with the last check. The one I get from this check, um, from this week will be, will go towards getting all my, my car stuff taken care of as far as getting my license, my tag, um, and then getting, um, oil change and tire rotation because that's, my car is letting me know that it needs that stuff too. Um. Because even though it's a new car, they still need maintenance. Um, so yeah, and then hopefully the week after that, if we're still working all these extra hours, I can make another car payment and get a little bit more caught up. So, sorry, I have a chihuahua right here at my leg. Um, so yeah, I guess that's going to be it for me today, guys. You know, guys, that I'm always terrible at these goodbyes. Um. And I feel like I'm kind of rushed too because I don't know how when he's going to be home. And I want to get some stitching in. I'm I'm not going to spend a ton of time on editing on this. Um, and I may just go ahead and put it up um, using my other software. I don't know. I'll try out that. I'll try out the new software and see how I like it. Um. This would all be so much better if I could just get into the laptop. That might be another thing I'm going to have to, that I might be able to pay for with these nice checks is taking my old laptop to computer repair and see if they can fix that um, charging port bezel thing. Um, so anyway. Um, hope you guys have a great week. Happy Father's Day today. Um, get lots of stitching in. Be blessed as always in everything you do. Um, do everything with good intent. I don't know. But, uh, until next time, guys. See you later. Bye.